Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate snowfall in After Effects. So for that, this is the landscape illustration I'm going to use in this lesson. And if you want to learn how to animate the smoke, then you can get the link of the tutorial in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner you will be able to get to see the tutorial so let's jump into after effects so let's create a new adjustment layer let's rename it snowfall now we're going to apply an effect on this adjustment layer Go to FX and Presets panel, type in CC Snowfall. So we're going to apply this effect. So if we preview the animation by default, you can already see some snow animation. Now we're going to just improve the snow a bit. So here you can see various options. So the first one is Flex. If we increase it, you can see the amount of snow has increased. The more we do, the more amount of the snow is going to increase the snow particles. So for now, let's keep it around 20,000. The next one is size. If we increase it, you can see the size of the snow particle have increased right now. The more we do, the more it is going to increase. The maximum it is going to get is 15. So this is the maximum it can get. Let's keep it around 10 for now. Now the next one is the variation in size. So if you increase, you can see the more I increase it, the more will be the variation in size. There are larger particles over here and also there are a lot more smaller snow particles here and there. The more we do, the more variation it is going to get. And if we give it zero, it is going to give a complete zero variation, which you can see right now. So let's keep it 50 for now. Or let's give it 100 only. Alright, so the next one is scene depth. So how much depth you want in this snowfall? If we give it zero, it is going to be a flat, complete flat snowfall. You can see it is completely visible as a single layer. But we don't want this. Let's increase the depth, scene depth. You can see there are, I mean, the front particles are actually moving faster compared to the particles that are far away and smaller particles so that is giving slight parallax effect you can say so this is what the scene depth does so let's undo it and let's keep it let's keep it around 5000 for now all right so the next one is the speed what is does it it is going to increase the falling speed that's all so for our snowfall i'm going to keep it a bit slow let's give it 150 all right now it's looking good so this is the variation in speed if we give it zero there would be no variation in speed but if we increase the variation then you can see some particles are moving dif in different speed than the other particles so there is some variation in the speed so let's keep it 50 for this one as well. The next one is wind. So let's give it something like this. You can see with this you have given a wind direction. And if we give it minus or a negative value, it is going to flow in this direction. So in general, I'm going to give some amount of wind over here. Let's give it 250. Because in general, there is some kind of a wind while the snowfall happens. So that's why. And then there is a variation percentage, which you can use how much variation you want in the wind. And then there is the spread, how much spread you want in the snow particle. So let's keep it what is in default. Now the next thing is the color. I'm going to keep it 
complete white so if you want you can change it to some different color but for now we need white and let's give it 100% opacity and after that we are going to give the influence of or decrease the influence slightly and if we give it zero you can see the particles are completely visible as white particles and if we slightly increase you can see it is going to decrease the opacity a bit what it actually does is it is just applying light in blending mode over the layers that is below it so we are going to give a slight amount of influence so let's give an influence of around 20 or let's give it 30 yeah this one looks good and the next thing is what we want is the offset so we are not going to apply any offset right now but if you want to animate it in x axis this snowfall in x axis you can simply put keyframes and animate this x axis of the snowfall like this or even y axis you can do that as well and for this one is the ground level where exactly you want the ground level by default it's 100 percent so end to end of the adjustment layer and then is the random speed how much you want it to move randomly so i'm going to give very slight random speed let's give it 10 percent or 10 all right okay so now we are going to apply a few settings on this snowfall now let's change the flex value to around 2000 a size of around 15 and we are going to keep this settings as it is and we are going to apply an wiggle expression on this wind so which is wiggle Four, comma, fifty. All right. So here is the one layer of the snow, and after that, we are going to duplicate it once again and put it below house layer, and we are going to change few settings over here as well let's change the size to 6 the flag value to 15 and also for the front one i'm going to give the screen depth or decrease the screen depth a bit let's decrease it to 3000 and here we are going to increase the screen depth let's increase it to 15000 and also i'm going to slow down this animation a bit so go to speed and let's give it 50 and right now you can see some parallax effect over here well i think we can increase the speed of the backside of the snow a bit Let's increase it to 80. And also increase the size to around 8. all right so like this you can animate snowfall in after effects if you want to learn how to animate the smoke then you can check out the tutorial i will be providing in the link in the description and you can also click on the i button on the top right corner you can get the tutorial link so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye